Isn't that fun? Hello? Hey, um, can everyone quiet down a little bit? Um, can everyone hear me fine? Is there... What? Oh, I, I, I'm not very... What? I'm not like very good with technology or anything, so I apologize. Um, can everyone hear me now? No. Whoa, whoa. The, the, the other mic, or is, is, is this okay now? This is better. Okay. This sort of sucks. Um, um, before I get started, I just like to um, thank a few people for some things. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my good friend Dave Atel. Um, for every stand up, Dave. He's looking for a job. He, he, he needs work. Um, on the subject of Dave, um, he ha he hosts our website or a mirror of it. So, like, if any one of you think you're cool for like breaking into that or something, you're just like about as cool as OpenBSD developers. So. <laughs> On the subject of OpenBSD, um, if you're an OpenBSD developer, could you come up here right now? Any OpenBSD developers, come on. You said you wanted to like hassle me and stuff. Yeah, come on up. How's it going? Oh, it's pretty good, pretty good. Well, the truth? No, wait. <laughs> Theo's gonna see that, it'll kick my ass. What was that? I said Theo's gonna see that, it'll kick my ass. <laughs> um, okay, that's all. Anyway. Oh, you, you, you're the only one here. No, Jason's out there somewhere. Mark. Jason, Mark, could you guys come up here? Oh, actually, Neil's might be here too. Neil's? My friend from, you know, the University of Michigan? Neil's? Uh, okay, uh, I'd like to thank Mark Litchfield from Next Generation Software for buying my ticket so I could get here. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going through all this stuff at the beginning of the speech because I'll be shot soon, and I just want you know, credit to go where, it goes, where it's deserved, so, while I have the chance. Um, Anyhow, uh, this will be fun. Yeah, um, let's see. I, I've got a couple friends here who are going to help out with this speech. Um, yeah, uh, but first I'd like to introduce my friend Sylvia. And um, my good friend um, and associate, the Unix terrorist, coordinator of Project Mayhem. Um, let's see here, what else was I going to talk about? Okay, yeah, uh, I suppose we can start now. Uh, you guys make sure your mics work and... Mic check. Mic check one two one two. What's up? I'm the Unix terrorist. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand it off to Gobbles who's gonna continue the speech, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna I just wanna test if my mic is working. Um everyone can hear me okay? Okay. Um so where do we want to start? Like, what do, what do people want to talk about? Like, what are the myths of computer security? Because I think uh, the Gobbles people, the Alate people, even though a lot of people... Show some respect. 
So like a lot of people are probably pretty pissed off with the Elite 3 uh, with the Gobbles postings. Um, I'm not actually a member of Gobbles or Elite, but I am definitely a supporter. Um, it's Gobbles, yeah! <laughs> I feel that was very inappropriate. <laughs> So, so what do people think of the late three? Like this, you know, there are so many myths in computer security, such as um, the government, the vendors, they all really care about computer security. Um, a late three was pretty enlightening. The Gobbles posts have been pretty enlightening into what actually is being done in computer security and how much the computer security vendors, uh, the, you know, the corporate sponsors of computer security people, how much they actually care for the industry and what they try to do and what they tell people um, in respect to this. Um, there's a lot of examples. Uh, a late three. Um, you know, pissed off a lot of people, but this stuff actually happens. Um, a late three, um, it's oh, a wow. I'd like to point out real quick that hackers hack. That, that's still yet to be decided, I'm afraid. <laughs> but if you look at a late three, there's, there's a book of like logs. Um, you know, it's, maybe it's fiction. Um, I wish I could write that much fiction, um, you know, and keep on pumping it out because these things actually happen and there's definitely um, a lot of things that the corporate sponsors, the government is trying to do um, and is not telling people. Um, Silvio hasn't been drinking yet today, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I did all that on Friday, so today I've been like um, just having a couple of glasses of water, I'm trying to relax, but it's very hard at a conference like this. <laughs> Another important topic we're going to be discussing is Project Mayhem. As you may know, I'm a Unix terrorist, and bringing terror to the internet is my game, you know? I come from the heart of darkness, and I'd just like to share that with security focus, with all the mailing lists. So we're going to discuss some techniques that you can use at home to wreak havoc. So I think we're going to start with the hit list now. It's pretty long, so we better get started. So we got, like... We're probably going to have like a mad fucking question section next, you know, we might even have an ethics panel, so it all depends on what we have time for. As you know, this is a last speech, so, I mean, if you guys want to chill out here, Project Mayhem and Gobbles, that's cool, but if you want to be a bunch of pussies and catch your flights home, you know, I understand. What do, what do people want to talk about? Like, what do they think computer security is? I, I do have a speech prepared. <laughs> Yo, break it down, Gobbles. Oh, no, show some respect, please. This is Silvio. I just work here. I'm 22. <laughs> Do you know who this man is? He pioneered the Unix virus. <laughs> and, and I must be a Unix terrorist. I must be a Unix terrorist because I've written some virus. That, that's why I've been in a late so often, and that's why there are so many logs and so much evidence to say what's been going on. Um, if people, you know, like, I'm, what do people really think computer security is? What do people think computer security is? Yo, Sylvia, I think you're out of control. You need to calm it down a bit. We're going to have time to get to all this, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, let's get to our first topic now. So, um, Sylvia was not a drug abuser either. The first thing I'd like to talk about are media whores who try to represent the hacking world. Um, the first on our list that we're going to talk about is all of the dead cows. Um, as I'm sure you all know, uh, the cult of the dead cow people, they... Sorry. I don't know if they're even in here, they might still be drying up in the pool. Uh, there, there, there's the death vegetable. He can't code. Yo, yo, CDC, holla back at me. <laughs> What's up, Bob? You know what I'm saying? Give us a shout out. Yeah, uh, the cult of the dead cow, the, the members, they, they like to 